today we're out here talking about or trying out a bunch of youth wood bats which is pretty fun uh, especially if you get some high quality real live single piece you know not not composite wood bats this here's the AP5 from Marucci which is a youth that's a 29 drop 8 I think a lot of sites say drop 5 for some reason uh, but it's we, we measured it out woods a little bit harder to control with the exact drop like you know composite and alloy bats um, but uh, uh, so, so, it's, so it ranges, but that one's officially a drop eight. Um, and that's the AP5, of course, AP standing for Albert Pujols and his number five, of course. But uh, we get asked a lot, why, or should we swing a youth wood bat or should we swing a non-wood bat? Here's probably a good example um, to talk about a little bit. This here is the, the JB19 Marucci youth bat. It's a 28 inches. And this one's actually about a drop seven, so it weighs out at about 21 or so ounces. Now again, each bat by weight and wood is gonna be a little bit different. But if you notice, this, these are all, these are three two and a quarter barrels. You don't give up much barrel size, at least compared to like some older two and a quarter barrel bats. When you get into the two piece composite bats, you'll actually find that the, the wood bats actually do lose a lot of barrel space. But the Jose Batista 19 Marucci, this is a single piece ash bat. It, it's a great, it, it's a great size by way of barrel. It is. I don't know how well you can tell there on the video. It is a little bit smaller um, than both that old Easton S3 and the old Combat B1. Um, but it's still plenty of barrel. This is the uh, Pro Pro model of. That's a 32 inch. Just to kind of give you a feel for the actual difference in size of the actual Pro model. Um, so why don't everybody? Why doesn't all, all youth in the two and a quarter league swing a uh, uh, a single piece billet sort of uh, you know Marucci or the list of bats that you can swing that are just single piece wood? Well, really a couple reasons. One, weight distribution isn't uh, as good because it's a piece of wood. There's just there's just only so much you can do with it, especially single piece woods. When you get into composite bats, there are a few things you can do, but that's not for today. Clearly, because this is. Uh, this is just, you know, high-end pro, pro model type stuff in youth versions. The other thing that really happens is that the sweet spot just isn't as long. And that's where metal or aluminum or composite really comes into play. And while from a pure performance standpoint, uh, it actually performs even better um, than wood. Not just because you have this... Uh, these these ratings where there's this trampoline effect that's greater in or can be in aluminum than there is in the wood in a few years when they change the standards January 1st 2018 it's going to respond much more like wood um, but even then the actual the actual size of the sweet spot will be uh, it'll, it's just going to always be bigger on metal and composite it's just it always is going to be um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be swinging wood some reasons that you swing wood. One is that it really teaches you how to hit the ball better because you have to hit it in the right spot. And there's a ton of feedback on this wood, especially the single piece wood, like a single piece you know, of ash or of maple or birch. You feel it. And I'm kind of hoping that he hits one off of his end cap here and you can see him get really mad because it, it will wring your hands like nobody's business. Uh, compared to you know BPS energy, you're never gonna hit the ball as far, but these, these Marucci bats are great. If you want a really good feel for swinging a wood youth bat, you can still get that 21 to 24 ounce bat and maybe even like a 25 or a 26. It's approved in most youth leagues. They're actually pretty fun. Um, but that's really it. That's that's why you would swing a youth bat. Hey, hey, there we go. That's fun. You, you miss hit a wood bat. That's what it feels like. Um, so uh, you'll find a lot of kids shy away from, from that. But, but by way of getting good, good reps in BP, by getting your strength up, it's hard to say that wood is not the way to go. In fact, when we hit, we actually try to hit with wood, especially in BP. It just, it just helps kids uh, find the ball in the middle of the barrel better, gets up their strength, and uh, it's also, it also sounds a lot cooler. That's for sure. But that's it. This specific one, uh, Marucci makes some good ones. A few companies make some good wood bats. The other thing that we should probably note, I realize the video is getting long. Notice how he's holding the bat. You always want the label up when you hit the ball. Um, the reason is, is you want to hit on the face grain. You want to hit on the face grain of the bats, and it's probably hard to see, but you can you can read some articles online. Um, but you actually want to hit on the face grain, not on the, the, on the fat grain. So 
Um, and there's good reasons for that, but I'll, I'll save that for another video. But that's always where the, the, the logo, it's on the face of the logo. Uh, it, it's, you want to hit on the side, not on the logo, 90 degrees from it. Uh, probably didn't explain that very well, but we'll, uh, we'll put some more in the, the blog post about it. But there you go. That's why you'd use wood bats as a youth. <laughs>